So for many of us, our periods come every month for decades of our lives, <laughs> but there's still so much mystery around menstruation. A new documentary called Periodical wants to change that. Well, through candid chats with doctors, celebrities, and activists, Periodical gives menstruation and menopause the red carpet treatment. <laughs> <laughs> it screens at this year's Hot Dogs Festival, and we are thrilled to have Emmy Award winning Lina Lite Plaplite here to talk all about it. Welcome to the show, Lina. Did I do that right? You did it right. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so, Lena, I understand uh, that the seed for this film uh, was actually a diary entry, yeah. which is fascinating. So, um, you said you wrote sort of like a love letter to those who menstruate. <laughs> so, tell us about that. I love writing a diary. Mm -hmm. I do it every day. And... Uh, I started writing, oh, menstruation, what a beautiful natural event we have. It means we're fertile, it means we're healthy. And hang on a minute, we somehow are not supposed to talk about it. So my why to make this film was like, why not? Mm -hmm. Why don't we speak about it? Why don't we know that much about what's going on with our bodies? And how come we're not even taught in schools much? about it. Mm -hmm. That's how I started. Mm -hmm. Well, it, I think it's very easy for, for many of us to feel like we're ruled over by our menstrual cycle. But the film sort of looks at the way women are hacking mm. their cycles. Can you break that down for us? It's crazy. Yeah. Everybody can. First of all, we figured out we are all cyclical beings. Yeah. And those with uterus, we live on estrogen cycle that is about a month. Okay. And so it's two weeks of kind of a high energy outward and two weeks of inward. So imagine your menstruation just finishes yeah. and then your estrogen starts rising and you're like, oh, hello. Oh, hello right, world. Right, right, <laughs> yeah. You know, what's happening? And suddenly your, your brain's fantastic right now to learn new things, to meet new people. And this is the time really to schedule all, all of your dates, to schedule your uncomfortable conversations. And when you are ovulating, your brain is just glowing. So this is the time to go and ask for a raise, for example. <laughs> ah! You know? <laughs> I love <Amazing>. this. <laughs> so how can we hack our own cycles to figure out what actually works best for us? Yeah. Um, the most important thing is to track your cycle. And there are apps out there, you know, mm -hmm. pay attention so they don't sell your data. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or you can track it manually, but it's literally do it every few days. And how am I feeling? What am I craving? Am I wanting sweet or salty? How am I sleeping? Am I horny? Um, <laughs> do I have a lot of energy or am I lethargic? These are very important. And within two, three months, you'll start Seeing the wave, the rhythm. Ride the wave. Ride. Ride. It changes Ride. 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 You know, a great example of the way people are hacking and tracking their mm. cycles is the U.S. women's soccer team. So you yeah. spoke with Megan Rapino, who said that the players track their periods, their cycles, to enhance performance. Exactly. Explain. It's mind-blowing because in, typically in Olympic athletes, we're like, no period, no problem, that's great. Um, and here they are, every single player is being tracked and they eat differently, they work out differently, they sleep differently, they, they take care of their bodies differently according to their cycle to optimize their bodies. Oh. Ooh, wow, it's absolutely Ooh. incredible. And, and the film just isn't about menstrual cycles, it's also about menopause. And you've said that working on this film actually made you look forward, you're looking forward to menopause. Yeah. How so? Isn't that amazing? So I'm yeah. about to be 40 and you're always looking at this menopause, yeah. the great change. Sure. And you're like, what the hell? We don't know anything about it. It's like the great mystery. So we got to speak with Naomi Watts. Yeah. And yeah. even Naomi Watts was like, I was suffering in silence from perimenopause. I did not know what's happening with me for years. So we decided to flip the script and we spoke with women who are like, no, 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 no. Menopause is when you literally, you walk into through this rite of passage from woman to the wise woman. Oh, oh I love that. So it's like matriarch comes yeah. out. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So at this year's Hot Dogs Festival, you screened the film for girls age 12 to 18. Why did you want to like connect with this age range in particular? It just happened this morning and it was the most glorious thing I've ever okay. attended. Oh, wow. Teenagers. But so think about it. We don't know much about menstruation. And when you're 13, 14, 19, to learn not just about there is period and there's a tampon, but there's a cycle that you can ride and there's ovulation. So you know exactly when you can 
get pregnant when you're fertile so you prevent it and you have more agency over your bodies. I mm -hmm. love that. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's still, for years, there was so much shame and stigma surrounding menstruation. But one of my favorite parts in the movie is when you have different people retelling a satirical piece that Gloria Steinem actually wrote about menstruation. 40 years ago. Exactly, yeah. way back in the 60s. It was called If Men Could Menstruate. And she <laughs> talks about how if men menstruated that they would like brag about it. Be like, how much did I you know, put out and the <laughs> volume and all those things. Do you think, what do you think would happen if women really started to see their menstruation like that? I think that some of us already do, believe it or not. I think the stigma is very quick to flip. And I personally became kind of a menstrual lady and my friends, when they see me across the street, they're like, Lena, hi, I'm menstruating. <laughs> <laughs> It's really easy to flip the stigma. Yeah. I don't think we need to wait for generations. We just need to talk about it. Yeah. And that's what we're doing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So we have Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. And then you watch Periodical. Cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's all we need. We're set for life. No. Let's make it a trend period bragging. Period yeah. bragging. Yeah. I love I'm it. I'm on my period today. I, got, I, I went through eight tampons today. Yeah. Beat that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Linda, uh, well, you have done magic here on this couch today, so yeah. thank you so much for joining us. What a fascinating <laughs> thank you. So good. Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.